Hey there, strangers, my name's Seos, and welcome back to Tokyo Jungle, the, the post-apocalyptic animal survival simulator is basically what this is. So I've paused this because our objectives have just appeared, so, and then they went away. So that's right in at the last episode, I paused it so we could uh, read those, and then they went away. So our objective now is to uh, change generations two times, mark six times, and find the aerial gardens. I don't know where that is. Oh no. So research Shibuya suburbs. Okay, so we need to re or reach the Shibuya suburbs. So where is the Shibuya suburbs? That is Shibuya down to the left. Okay, so we're gonna go south. That's the direction we're going. So uh, as you can see, we have, we've just changed generations. So mommy and daddy Pomeranian have given birth to five freaking adorbs of five. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six Pomeranians. So we've got um Larry, Gary, Harry, Jerry, um Barry, and Stu. Stu's the weird one. We don't talk about Stu. So I'm slowly starving to death, I've just noticed, because, uh, whoops. No, Larry's gonna die immediately in this episode. Uh, so for those of you who missed the previous episode, my dog is wearing a hat and a jacket. Because, and also headphones, he's got headphones on. I've killed all the cats in this area, so I have nobody to eat. Um, so let's go this way. Basically, the plot of this is something somewhere has happened. It's caused, oh, the dog is gonna die. Oh, it's sad. It's like right at the beginning of this episode, we're gonna lose a dog. Because I spent so much time you sign off for the last one. No! Doggy, why? Oh, oh, Larry. Oh, poor Larry. You cannot eat Larry. Why would you want to eat Larry? Because I'm a weirdo, that's why. I was just curious, but you can't. I mean, I already tried it before. I didn't try to eat my friend before. That's crazy. Why would you do that? Um, we need to go find some food. Otherwise, our doggies are going to starve, and that would be bad. One of our other objectives is to change generations two times and to mark six times. So that's probably... It's a good chance it's not going to happen. These are objectives. You're just, there's a... There's a food. There's um, something to write and hunt. Ooh, on the mini map you can see you guys have shown up over here that I can hunt. We should go into stealth mode. Um, so we have a very limited amount of time to try and do all these objectives. Unfortunately, uh, often the objectives are, I believe they're randomly generated. And, or, oh, that one's poison. Don't eat Larry, Gary, Jerry. Oh, well, you're poisoned now. <laughs> Let's try to drink some water and unpoison yourself a little bit. Uh, so that dog, or that cat was poisoned. I should not have eaten that immediately. I did, my bad. These cats are a little bit stronger than the last cats. Oh, that was poisoned immediately. Stop being toxic cats. I need to, I need to eat you. Oh, toxic again. Super cool. Super not terrible at all. So we need to find a specific place. This is the objective I have the most problem with. I have never managed to find all these things. Um, are you poisoned? No. Okay, eat it. Eat it good. Okay, so we need to change generations twice. So, ooh, hey, thing. What you got? We found some pet medicine, which will take away our toxicity, which will be good. So we actually have that right here, which is, it'll also restore life. So let's hang on to that for a little bit here, because we are not necessarily dying from the, uh, the poison. We only have 32% poison, and if you're only a third poisoned, you're not poisoned at all, apparently. So the problem is, how the uh, objectives are set up is, uh, it's wanting me to go in here and find a thing. A thing I don't actually know where it is, it's a hidden spot. I've, I've, I think I've only ever looked up one of them before, because I never could figure out where they were. Um, there's certain shops that you have to find and locate and stuff. Uh, but then on top of that, I have to change generations twice, which means I then need to really uh, leave this area and go to, like, one of the upper areas. But I have to pass through the Shibuya Shopping District again, and then take over one of those. And I've only got uh, six years to do that, so there's a good chance it's not going to happen. Which is, uh, unfortunate. Hello, porcupine. How you doing? I'm gonna eat this porcupine real quick. J jumping at a porcupine from behind is usually the best option. It, it doesn't hurt at all, ever. It's it, it never, never bad. Uh, okay, so there's some food. If you are an herbivore, which we are not, we are the mighty Pomeranian. We are here to devour everything in our path, because why not? That's ah, a monkey! Kill it, it's a chimpanzee! I'm not gonna eat that. It just needs to die, because it's a gross monkey. But I don't want to eat it. I don't, I don't want that part of me to eat you. That'd be gross. Ah, uh, not the biggest fan of monkeys. Just saying. Not a lot of people monkeys. A lot of people monkeys? Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, not a lot of... I know a lot of people like the monkeys. I... Not necessarily, because I never really listened to much of their music. Wow, that was a 70s reference. I wasn't even alive then. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, I mean, guys, it's it's early. I mean, I, j I woke up like... Well, like two hours ago. And it's also 11.30 <laughs> in the morning. It's not, it's not early, it's not late. I should be at the top of my game, but I'm not. Oh, this Pomeranian just took down a wolf. Look at that, that's amazing. 
there's a good chance we are not going to get all of our objectives completed. My good chance, I mean, there's no way I can actually get to all the places I need to in the time that I have. Let's see if we can find this place. I'm very curious if I can actually find this hidden location. So, by the way, there are two things I have never accomplished in this game. Well, three, actually. I have not unlocked all the animals, as I showed in the previous episode. There are two animals that I have yet to uh, actually get. One, I believe, is a woolly mammoth. The other one's apparently a giant moa, which is a giant bird, I believe. Um, and also, I, uh, I've, I've never completed all the objectives, because that's... it's it's so The random generation of that... Oh, it's toxic now! Um, is uh, difficult sometimes to find all the things that you need to do. If they're not in one run, oh, well, you can go that way. But also, I've never managed to survive to the end. Because as you can see here, if you go to your challenge list, go all the way to the bottom. Oh, go back up there. Back to the bottom here. So I've actually done this. Complete, oh, no, I've not done that. Do all challenges. I'll actually unlock a tuxedo. So if you get all the way to the bottom, you can do that. But uh, it goes down to, I think, year... That only goes to year 61. I believe there's an achievement for surviving 100 years. Um, which I have not done. I think the farthest I've gotten is in the 40s, maybe, if that. That would be 30 M's. It gets really high up there. It's, uh, it gets very difficult. And later on, it'll be, everything's toxic. Oh, there's lions and tigers and velociraptors everywhere. It's actually Dinonocosaurus or whatever it's called. Um, and stuff. But I feel like I remember there being pterodactyls somewhere. You can't play them. But they're either just in the game and you can't play them, or they're in the cutscene. And by cutscene, I mean, like, the still image where it had text over it, which counts as a cutscene for this game. This game seems very low budget, but, um, it's still really engaging. I like this a lot. It's it's a survival game. It's it's a survival hunting game with, like, random elements, or random, uh, objectives to complete. Oh, there's wolves! This was a bad choice! Why are the wolves running away from the Pomeranians? Oh, no, they're not anymore. Oh, they have decided to fight back. How dare you? How dare you, mister? Well, that's a zebra. Okay, we're gonna go eat that zebra in a minute. We're gonna take down this wolf first, because I am a huge, huge badass Pomeranian. Seems like an oxymoron, but it's not apparently- No! Got so close to dying! Nah, there you go! And now eat. Eat your fill! Eat all we could possibly need! I don't think we actually have an objective to, uh, eat a lot this time, do we? I don't think we do. Let's go ahead and just fill up this so we can be at boss level, which would be good. There we go. And I believe our objectives do not have taken so many calories, no. We have marked six times and changed generations twice. Which would actually need us to do it eight times, that's so fine. We have not found the aerial gardens. I'm assuming it's somewhere up high, because as you saw earlier, there's some verticality to this. You can actually uh, climb up on top of stuff, you can go up on top of some of the rooftops. It's got some... Yeah! Stealth kill! Clean kill. I don't even need that. I killed you because I could. And also so you wouldn't wake up and kill me later. It's a preemptive strike, basically. But, uh, yeah, this game has a lot of surprising, uh... Surprising depth, is just what I'm gonna say. I like it a lot. So maybe it's up there. You go up north. I could just look it up online right now, but I don't really want to stop the episode to do that because we're unfor. I was really, really hoping maybe I could do all the objectives, but I'm pretty sure they're randomly generated. I think. If I'm wrong, I apologize. I think they're randomly generated um, as to which ones it gives you for each run, and uh, I've never been able to find these places that I'm supposed to find. I think I found one before. Like I said earlier, I've looked up one. I think I found one by accident once, and that's about it. Hey, we found ourselves on top of a rooftop. There's nothing up here. It's good for, like, running away from uh, enemies or just hanging out, you know? Having a good old time. Let's see if we can actually uh, probably mark some things and find a mate or something, because this is a bad place to be. Hey, Primo Pet Food! Cool, so there's something up there. Uh, we need to find a mate within the next few years, otherwise we're going to die. We're not going to actually get through any of these objectives. <laughs> that would be bad. Oh, well, I guess it looks like it's going to happen. We made through the first two sets getting all the objectives, and this one we're going to get none. Because, uh... I tried to go for this one. I went for the bad one. Uh, the very difficult one. It was a bad choice. And this also is just a real... This is one of the more difficult areas, because as you can see, it's sprawling! It's everywhere! I really should go back the other way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat something first, though. I'm gonna eat this wolf! Oh, no! Eat the wolf! Don't die to the wolf! Eat to the wolf! There you go. I do this one. And get beat that one up. Beat it with your little Pomeranian fists. Uh, Pomeranians use fists, right? No! No, don't kill! Don't kill Gary! No, Gary! Now it's time for Harry! Harry's gonna take you down for eating his brother and then his other brother starving to death because I was really bad starting my, uh, my video up. It's fine, don't worry about it. Nope, don't worry about it. I'm, I've been talking for too long. My mouth is dry. My mind is melted. It's just what happens sometimes. Go ahead and do this. And now, see that C up there? That is the end. Oh, this is where our next objectives show up. I believe that's the C tier objectives. 
What we're going to do now is we are just going to leave this area. I need to change generations because if we get too old, or dogs just get too old, uh, they will just slowly die. Whether we have food or not, the, uh, the speed at which their hunger and life drain increases exponentially. It's crazy fast. I believe it's exponentially. But it goes really, really fast. It keeps speeding up. Um, and it's, you can't, you literally can't survive after a while. And that's, uh, sadly, that is just how things are, both in the game and probably in reality. I don't know. Oh, no, I don't want to think about that. To get old, it's like, mm, my hunger beaters feel, like, empty way too fast. Oh, yes, I'm gonna die now. <laughs> oh, that's just a really weird way to think of that. But we're gonna have to leave here. We're gonna have to pass through Mom and Dad's district and then move up to the higher districts. Some of the other districts, I believe, connect, do they connect? I can't remember. Let's look real quick. Or do they all just... Uh, no, they kind of just all do a big, weird S-shape up there. Uh, so what do you say we just go north? Since we've apparently lost all these objectives as of right... Give it a second. There it is. Now, oh, there you go. So we failed all those objectives, sadly. And we have a year before the next ones kick in. So what do you say we just head north? Go towards the, the zoo. So I can show you guys the zoo. Aw. Failed all those objectives. Again, like I said, I never actually have completed them all anyway. Because, man, this game is really... Cool, but hard. <laughs> it's unforgiving. As a survival uh, situation should be. I oh, well, that's... Oh, well, that was Larry! Oh, that was the little dead Pomeranian from the beginning of the episode. He's now toxic. Because he's been sitting there for so long, I suppose. But as you saw with the cats, um, it's kind of random. Some areas will just be uh, more toxic, and they'll make things just turn toxic the moment they die. Which is super uncool. I wish he would tell you that before you bothered to hunt them. Which, uh, I mean, you gotta kill them if they're attacking you, but still... So let's go ahead and attack whatever this thing over here is, get some food out of it. Hello, little hyena! Okay, yeah, there we go. So by the way, that um, instant kill there does not work every time. Like, that's that worked because uh, we're still at a low level and I have a boss character. Who, okay, uh, change generation one time. Six clean kills, that was one of the ones I was just doing. And uh, head for the Yamon, uh, that line west which is all the way north. So that's where I was going anyway. So, hey, there we go. Um, but, ye oh, <laughs> it was, uh, I have a boss-level uh, character right now because we've been doing a lot of eating, and eating apparently is all you need to do to become big and strong. So if you would be big and strong, eat everything you find. Don't worry about obesity because that's a lie. No, don't, don't take what I just said to heart because that will make you die <laughs> very quickly. Um... But hey, look, Pomeranians, it's a line of deadly, deadly Pomeranians. Yeah! Oh, bite it, bite it, bite it, bite it! There you go, there's an uh, example of that not working. Ah, oh, it's a tiger! No, 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 I'm just a Pomeranian! Eat the freaking zebra! No! Did I just lose all of my, my entire pack? There's one left. No, I ate a hyena earlier! You should be afraid of me! No, no, no! Run! Oh, no. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, this is the worst it could possibly be. I'm also starving. I'm starving. Why is there nothing but predators here? I have one popper. There's an alligator! No, or crocodile. Why is this place the most terrifying? There's another tiger. Just don't mind me. Hey, uh, Stu? Stu, is that you, buddy? St I think Stu is the last one alive. Stu, Stu, the one that we don't talk about because he's a weirdo, is the one that survived. Ah, the apocalypse! Stu, it's up to you. It's up to you, Stu. Uh, there's a horse. There's a horse over there. There's a bunch of deer. Wow, that was bad. That, so, like I said, I took my hand off the controller for a second there. That was terrifying. Um, in the last episode, and probably in this one, um, this game is incredibly unforgiving. It has some randomly generated elements as to where things spawn. And uh, the later you go into this, the more difficult it gets. But man, it is unforgiving, as you have just witnessed firsthand. I lost five Pomeranians. Now my weirdo Pomeranian is the only one left. I've decided he is the weirdo one. Also, let's go ahead and give him some... Give him the clothes of his fallen comrades, uh, because why not? What's has the highest stats? Uh, pet collar, scarf, headphones, even the headphones again. Apparently, I got three of those. Oh, these will actually uh, degrade over time, I believe. Let's go with the swag. We got the swag again. I don't have any more. I didn't like gain any shoes, did I? I can find those at random. You remember, I also have these for food and um, reducing toxicity and things. So there we go. <laughs> Just that was so bad. <laughs> just out of nowhere. So hey, look, we can go across that bridge there if we feel like it, or if you are playing as a uh, an herbivore, you would often want to go this way and stay above the predators, which is actually pretty neat. I like that a lot. So we are we're still a boss level uh, character. So what do you say we um, breed real quick? <laughs> yeah, that's that sounded really weird. Also, what I said in that weird voice, we're gonna breed real quick. 
but um, don't worry about it. Hey, a present that somebody left for me to help me survive. Unsavory stamina jerky. Cool. They'll actually give you infinite stamina for a short while, which is super cool. I like that a lot. Don't. Why is it now toxic? The moment I'm ready to breed, the world becomes toxic. There's some metaphor there somewhere. I'm not entirely sure what it is. That's. Oh, that's. As a low grade um, mate, that's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to insult your feelings and set to your face. Um, you don't want those because, one, you actually get a worse offspring. Because, as you've seen, when I've gotten good ones, it's actually increased my, uh, my stamina, my health, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but you also can just get fleas off of them. And then your character will stop every so often to scratch fleas, and then, and then they could just, like, be eaten and die because they're doing that. Oh, well, I gotta eat some stuff now. Uh, let's go with... Uh, reduces toxicity. Let's go with this one first. The lesser. Oh, that didn't fail your hunger at all. Wow, that was the wrong way to do that. Fine. Refill our hunger gauge. I was not paying attention. I thought they both refilled the hunger gauge. So onward we go to the next area, I guess. Because we don't want any of these mates. These are... These are smelly. We don't like them. They, they talk about dumb things. They, just, they, they do... They, we're not really into the same stuff, but they keep dragging me along to, like, the, the various shops and, you know, over their friends' parties. Like, hey, you're gonna come hang out with Lacey. I'm like, I hate Lacey. Why are we going over to Lacey's place? And they're like, well, you, you gotta like Lacey. She's my friend. So you gotta... I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> it's just... That wasn't a real story. That wasn't based on my real life. But hey, I apparently just watched too many movies. Um, I already could have told you that. I did not even realize I could go up here. Hey, I discovered something in this video. Hey, there we go. Um, normally I go down there. There's actually a little pathway that goes across there. I'll let you go through here. So, hey, we're actually in a, uh, this little, whatever this district is. What is this district? It's the Shibuya Woods. It's woods, apparently. It's just a bunch of rooftops. Uh, where's apparently no food. Is there a drought, or a, a food drought here? There's very little food. I keep forgetting you can look at this and you can see how much food there is. <gasps> Yamoto Line uh, East has a lot of food. Let's go there immediately. That way is not the way we want to go. They'll just loop around. We actually need to go this direction and go all the way around in a giant kind of U-shape. Ooh, more presents for me! For Stu! Pet medicine, thank you. Thank you, whoever is leaving these gift-wrapped boxes. And also, thank you, whoever gave my dog thumbs for just a brief moment so we could open the boxes. I guess they can do with their teeth, but not quite that efficiently. So there's no animals here at all. So it's just, it's just a drought. Like, it's a food drought. But uh, it's just, you cannot... Is this toxic? Is this toxic? No, it actually lowered my toxicity. Good. Okay, so I need to mark six times anyway. Let's go over here and do this. And then run over this direction. And then go and go up north and see if we can find a little bit of food. Because otherwise we're going to die. And that would be bad. Also, we want to try to mate if we can. We've got four years to try to mate before we get old and nobody wants us anymore. And oh, that's really sad sounding. That's not true. If you're old, you're still cool and stuff. And I don't know. I don't know who, what old people will be watching my videos. But hey, I don't even know what defines old anymore. Anyway, because, you know, the, the age of people just keeps increasing. Because that's literally how age works, you idiot. But I also mean, like, uh, you know, people live longer. So I don't even know what's old anymore. Anyway, let's go up here. You see all those triangles on my map. That is going to help me to survive. We've got to get to them triangles. But I have to actually find a way to get up there first. So I go all the way around. And then uh, find a way right here. And once we get up there, then we can hunt. We can hunt. And we don't actually... We just need to... Well, actually, we, we need to eat a little bit. We don't actually... Maybe we can take over this area. Wait, which Am I supposed to go to east but, or west? But can I just take over this one? Does it matter? Yeah, head for that. I don't actually have to take it over. If I score six clean kills and change generations one more time, we'll actually be able to do all the objectives. That's very unlikely, but let's try it. Why not? Ow! <laughs> Never mind. Oh, yeah, there's lots of food here. It's hyenas. That's... Oh, I don't know. No, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. You see nothing? You see nothing. You see... I'm, I am the mightiest of Pomeradians. Stay away, monsters. Stop hunting me. I'm, I'm watching you hunt me right now. Stop it. Yeah, hunt, hunt that. Hunt that cat. Like, you should totally fight that cat. Oh, gosh, ow! It's going down. Oh, he tried to kill me. He tried to kill me. Also, you can counterattack, as you saw right there. This might be the end of Stu the Pomeranian and his entire family line, because the world has been populated by giant freaking carnivores, and it's bull. And I hate it. I hate it so much. This game is so unforgiving. I, I adore this game. It's so hard. Um... So we get water here, luckily. Try to do this. Are there any hippos in here? I feel like there's hippos somewhere. No, no. Stop hunting me. I said it. There's a crocodile. Oh, just eat the crocodile. Or get eaten by the crocodile. I don't care which one. I gotta, I gotta hide from these, but you can't. Uh, gotta get out of their line of sight and drink something. Otherwise, we die. No, 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 no. Hide. 
No, I said hide. No, Stu. <laughs> oh no. Ah, uh, well, there you go. That is um, the end of our line. At least the crocodile is murdering all those hyenas that would not leave me alone. Oh, uh, this is a great game. It's like you saw in this episode. Like the last episode, I was destroying it, and this one, wow, it just decided to absolutely crush me into the ground. And that's what happened there. So let's see. Uh, lap to your points, calorie points, regular points. Uh, claim territory points, generation change points, and challenge points, and animal rates are all there. So you can actually watch, I think you actually, oh, I press R when I can fast forward, it shows you what you've eaten at what point, and, uh, like, oh, yeah, there you go. So I ate some, I, I think it's just showing you, yeah, it just shows you that there's some carnivorous activities going on here. So if you're an herbivore, it'll show you when you actually ate. And there, we took down, no, that's when we bred. I was gonna say when we took down a pack. No, we bred there, and then we, I guess we attacked an herbivore. And then we attacked carnivores. Oh, there was the cat massacre. The great cat massacre of um, episode one, basically. So how many years did I actually go? I wasn't paying attention. Just keep it going. It's like 30-something, wasn't it? I don't know. I'm just going to fast forward until we get there. We will find out together. If I get, I mean, you already know. Because you, you were probably paying more attention than I was. I was trying to get away from hyenas. Uh, okay, so oh, we actually managed to get a pretty decent ways, considering we barely ate anything. Look, there was like a four-year drought of not eating. Apparently, our dog just has superpowers. He died at age 37. Well, he didn't actually live to age 37. Our our family lineage made it 37 years after the apocalypse, apparently. So, uh, hey, there you go. This has been Tokyo Jungle. It is a really fun little game. It is really quirky. It's really... It's a weird concept that I absolutely adore, and uh, I come back to this a lot. This is a really good game if I'm doing other things or if I'm listening to other things. Just pick this up and play it. Well, because you don't have to listen to anything. There's no like uh, objective or pl I mean, there's objectives. No, no like audio objectives or plot or anything to listen to. It's just hey, go do the these three things while you try to survive. And here's actually the store where we can uh, buy stuff with our stuff. We can buy a beanie. A buy a beanie for your dog? So you can I try it? I would try my beanie. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, a little Christmas beanie. So why not? Go buy that. I'll make sure you show you shoes. So you neck items. A whole bunch of stuff here. These headphones there again. Oh, not that yet. Body got pet clothes. What's pet clothes? Ooh. You could be one of those weirdos that puts clothes on pets. Because sure, why not? Any like cool ones? No, not that one. Uh, cozy sweater. Ooh. Girls, no, you guys have girls' backpack around those together. Uh, backpack's kind of cool. I like that. And leggings, we can have giant shoes. I think there's one that just looks like kitty paws. There you go. <laughs> if you want to play as a cat wearing cat feet, there you go. This is the game for you. But either way, like I said, this right here has been Tokyo Jungle. If it'll actually back out. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so this right here has been Tokyo Jungle. If you guys want to see more of this, you want to see, like, the story or the, uh, playing as any of the other characters, like some of the uh, the herbivores, or even something like the uh, the raptor, or it's not a raptor, but the, the dinosaur, or the tiger, or the cheetah, or the lion, or something along, or the wolf. I said a lot of cats. Also, but there's a wolf in there somewhere. Um, let me know, and I'll be more than happy to come back to this, because I absolutely adore this game. I really, really do. But either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed some post-apocalyptic Pomeranian mayhem. Take care, and I will see you next time.